The three main components of the JetLab system are the jetpack, hose assembly, and boat unit. The pilot wears the jetpack which contains all the controls needed for controlled flight, control arms, throttle, start-stop switch, and safety lanyard. These are the thrust nozzles, where water shoots out to provide thrust in the opposite direction. They work exactly the same way as in a personal watercraft. Surprisingly, the nozzle pressures are roughly equivalent to municipal water pressures, the only difference being much higher flow rates. As you move the control arms together to point the thrust nozzles to the vertical position, all power is applied vertically and you do not move forward or backward. We call this the neutral position. Becoming familiar with this position is very important because it is at this position that you can always lift your body upright regardless of the power from the nozzles. If you move your arms downward from this position, the nozzles begin to swing rearward and generate forward force to push you forward while upward force is reduced and cause you to descend. The throttle grip is used to change the power output of the engine from idle to full throttle. That in turn changes the power of the water being delivered through the hose assembly to your jetpack. For more power and greater height, twist to the right. Did you catch the rhyme there? Twist right for height. This will help you remember the correct direction to twist the throttle grip. For most precision in throttle control, hold the grip firmly against the palm and twist with your wrist, not with your fingers. As the pilot, you determine the amount of throttle to use in different situations. Each throttle position corresponds to a given amount of power, and you adjust the control arm positions to decide how much to use for upward force or altitude, and how much to use for forward force or speed. The closer the nozzles are to pointing straight down, the higher and slower you will fly. As a beginner, your goal is to maintain a steady forward speed at a moderate altitude. There are two types of turns you can perform on a jet lev the roll turn and the yaw turn. A roll turn is performed in forward flight and is achieved by shifting your body weight in the direction of the turn. A yaw turn is where you turn about your vertical axis while remaining in a more or less vertical body position. Lowering the control arm on the side you want to go. The phrase, where you go, that arm low may help you to remember. You may also understand this as the way you turn the steering wheel to steer a car. Usually, you start a turn with a yaw maneuver, then guide the turn with a roll maneuver. In this example, we can see the pilot applying yaw to start and using the roll to keep the turn balanced and in control. Now that you understand how the jet lev works, let's get you fitted for flight training.